In this video tutorial for the Appearance Designer, we'll show some of the functionalities which are available to logged in users. For one, as will be explained in other videos, you'll be able to add information to the database, both experimental data and also new NRPS pathways. But here I'd like to focus on the uh, on the core functionality. And basically, if you go to the NRPS Designer app, instead of being redirected immediately to the panel where you choose your peptide, you instead get a list of peptides you have previously designed. And you can basically click on it and look at exactly what was done and the sequence the domain sequence, the designer, and of course the primers that were calculated. And also in case you created combinatorial libraries, here for example a monomer library, you can also view this. Now it was also mentioned in the original video that you can add your own backbones and promoters etc. This can be done again via the functionality provided by Gibson. So you go to this Manat's Gibson Fragments app and here you can basically add new DNA sequences by clicking on add new fragment. We'll showcase this with the with this option to actually import fragments from the iGEM parts registry. So you just enter the idea of the appropriate part. So here we choose this very standard backbone and now as you can see it has been imported you can also search the NCBI for the sequences upload your own file or just enter the sequence and now if you go back to the designer you will see that your own backbone which you added to the via the appropriate app can be chosen as well and added to their construct but I'd still like you to recall that it's important to not forget the promoter, the ribosome binding site, the start and the stop codon.